Welcome to Knicks.com. Jonah Ballo here with Kyle O'Quinn. And Kyle, uh, let's talk about the process of you improving this year and, and what went into your offseason. We've seen a resurgence here in the past five games, almost 10 points, seven boards, and in the, like 19 minutes of action. And we've seen real impact. What went on during the offseason and what we're seeing here on the floor now? Um, you know, just continue to work on my game, trust my trainers out at Impact that I've been working with for so long, you know, about seven years. So. I think this offseason we took a took a deep look and you know tried to you know get my body right to maintain a season you know um, faster recovery and stuff like that so I think more or less I worked on my body as much as I could and the game is becoming easier you know over years you know you just things just start happening for you you know game becomes slower and you're playing with great guys so my game my, my role is pretty easy. <laughs> We see you come off the bench. What is that like for you in your mindset? And when you go out there and you have to make that quick impact in terms of you're not sure about minutes and how long you'll be out there, what goes through your mind during that period of time? We just got to bring energy. You know, one of, one of the trainers named uh, Drew, he always says the ball finds energy. And he's right. You know, you go for a couple of offensive rebounds, you may get one. And that may be the possession to, you know, turn the team's momentum around or something, you know. Or, being in the right spot, you might get a nice little dunk or something like that, you know, but um, just trying to do something that, you know, can uplift the group. But for the most part, like you said, you don't know how long you're going to be out there. So with these minutes, I'm just trying to play as hard as I can, you know, so I can make maybe 10 minutes turn to 12, 12 to 14. Do you feel the improvement? Do you see the improvement every day? And is that something that you track and, and can really follow and feel that momentum create, you're creating every day? Well, I must be improving because I talk to you guys more. <laughs> And um, you guys asked me to speak to you. We always talk to you. Know, I love media. You know, media is cool. But, you know, when you guys ask me to talk after practice, that means I'm doing something right. So but the biggest thing is my appreciation for Coach trusting me to go on the court, put me in positions that he, he feels I'm comfortable in. And, I mean, it means a lot to me. You know, I've been in a lot of different situations. And just being in the mix, playing with these great guys, it means a lot to me, and I know my family's happy. You know, we hear you in the locker room as, as one of the vocal leaders, one of the guys that also brings a little bit of levity to the locker room, a little bit of fun. Do you see yourself in that role? Do you take pride in that? Yeah, I mean, me just being me. I take pride in me controlling my attitude daily, being myself daily, you know, no matter what's going on. And I think the guys appreciate that. You know, I think it's, uh, it's, it's something I could bring to the locker room. You know, if you could make Derrick Rose smile once a day, you're doing your job, you know. That he's a guy. serious dude. He's a serious dude and he's pretty quiet. And you know, my 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 one of my personal friends, you know, told me if you get him to talk, you get anybody to talk. So I think I'm doing my job pretty well. Definitely are. Now, what's the deal with the goggles? We gotta ask about that. We see him in the practice, okay? okay. In the game, we don't see the goggles, and I was kinda hoping we could see that. I think that's a unique look. Well, uh, so the goggles are prescription. Okay. And I wear contacts and glasses. I'm just not fully comfortable to wear them in the game because sometimes they may fog up or they may slide. And, you know, with the limited practice time, I haven't got enough, you know, real game action in them. I do my pregame shooting in them, you know, but that's just not enough for me to feel comfortable going into the game. So I stick with the contacts. I just wanted to get a different look because the contacts were irritating my eyes. That's it. So it's nothing spectacular. It's just I'm trying to get used to them. And one of these games, I'll break them out, of course, and hopefully it works for me. In terms of physicality, I wanted to ask you about this. We see it all the time, and when you're up close in, a, in an NBA game, and you can see things can get chirpy. Last night we saw it with the Phoenix game. Mm -hmm. You're a big dude. Yeah. How do you control that, where you can be physical but not take it to that next level where it could get to a point of a confrontation? Well, you always got to remember you're playing a game, you know, and a game can't get physical, but at the end of the day, your group is here to win the game. You don't want to do something that, you know, will give the other team an advantage to take a cheap shot or something and you be a technical or possibly get ejected. So there's a fine line, but you always got to stand your ground. And I love what Kristaps did yesterday. You know, that, that, that goes to let you show, goes to show you how tough he is. And, you know, somebody tried to take a cheap shot and he, I'm not, I'm not with that. You know, I'm not with that. As simple as that. So it's a fine line, but you always got to let your presence be felt. And, you know, every game you got to, you know, take a stand, especially on the road. All right. Give us some insight into the locker room here. Who's the undercover funny guy in the group? Under, oh man, Kuzminskis is he? I think, you give him a lot of trouble. I hear that. I do, I do, and then he uh, he tells me some funny stuff. He curses a lot, yeah. so it makes it even funnier because it's his accent. I can't say some of the things he says, but 
Again, this is a uh, fan friendly here. One of the things he always threatened me, he said he's gonna come to my neighborhood and kick my butt. So uh, okay. I think that's pretty funny because he thinks, <laughs> he said he did his research on Jamaica, Queens, and he said it's a rough neighborhood, but not too rough for him. So okay. that's like a going joke right now. He said, I'm gonna come to Jamaica and kick you, you know what, so. Well, Kyle, we appreciate your time today, and uh, it was awesome catching up with you. Great work, job this season. Work. All right, thank you. <laughs> there he is, Kyle Quinn on Nooks.com.